Hello everyone, welcome back to Crafting with Janine. I have gotten a lot of requests for these, so I'm going to go ahead and show you how I like to do these. These are the twisted boutique bows with the tails. This is the way I like to do them. Because of the tails, it comes out, so they come out nice and good. So we're going to go ahead and start. What I use is I use 30 inches of one inch and a half ribbon. And this will get you roughly about a four inch wide bow. And I normally do stiffen them. This one hasn't been stiffened yet. So I made it for the video to show you guys. So I do stiffen all my bows. So we're going to go ahead and start. So I've got my 30 inches of my inch and a half ribbon. So what I do is I take it and I'm going to take two and a half inches off the end of it. So I measure it on my board here, and then I fold it in half. And then heat a nice good crease right there. Now like I say all the time, these are my ways. This is how I like to do it. If you have a better way, go ahead, but this is how I like to do them. So now that I've got that crease there, I'm gonna take it, and I'm gonna fold it in half with the edge of the other side to the crease. And then I'm going to get another crease right there. Heat that. Now I do make these similar to the way I make my Jojo. Because it is so much better. So for me what I want to do is I want my end here on my right. Because I always work that way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this. And we're going to fold it and get a little crease right here. Just a small one. Nothing major, because what we're going to do is we're going to do like a figure eight method here. So we're going to take this, but we want our end here, this crease, to be at the edge of our ribbon here. So we're going to put that in place there and hold it right there in place. And then we're going to take a pin right here up at the top corner. And we're going to put the pin there to hold it in place. Now we're going to take this side and we're going to bring it up behind. But this one, the edge is going right to the edge of that. And then I'm going to take another pin and I'm going to put it right here. And then I move this one, this bottom one, so that they're all layers are together. So we have this sitting in front of us right now. So now what I like to do is fold it in half right there at the middle and then take this side and we're going to heat a crease here and then we're going to take this side and we're going to do the same thing. We're going to heat a crease. So that now we have this with two creases here. So what I do is I take them and I'm going to take this side and I'm going to go right to the middle. Right here, right in the middle between this one and this one. And then I'm going to take this one and I'm going to go right over the top of that one with that crease. And the reason why I do the creases is so that I can get that crease lined up with this point here. And then the same on this side. So now we have this. And they're stacked together. And I'm just going to hold them in my hand. I'm going to go for my needle and thread. And I'm going to start stitching up the middle. I don't count. And I just stitch. So I'm stopped right here because I'm going to pull my pins that are behind. Pull the pins out. And then we're going to finish. So we're going to go here here and then one last one through push it through and then pull it so now we have our stitched up the middle and I'm just gonna hold it and I'm gonna pull and cinch the middle and I'm gonna wrap it around a few times and give a nice good pull and then I'm gonna tie a knot
that off to the side. So we have this. And then I take it, and just like I would a Twisted Boutique bow, I'm gonna take it, put my two fingers in these loops here, just like this, top and bottom loops, and give a good pull and a twist. And then I'm just gonna fluff my loops. And then I'm gonna put here on the two sides, and I'm gonna give that a pull and a twist. Now why I do that is because it opens it up and it makes it wider instead of this way. And for these ones, I like it that way. And that's why I do that. So then we have that and we're pretty, pretty set. And then we're just gonna take a piece of ribbon and we're gonna wrap the center. You can put whatever you want. You can put a knot in the middle. You can put a bottle cap in the middle of these. You can do whatever, however you want it. But I always wrap my centers first before I even stiffen them. Because on these ones, I want a certain shape. So I wrap it around twice, nice and tight down the center. Snip, seal, glue. Hold that in place. And then, so I come through and I just fix my loops. So me, I like to leave it just like this. But you can put anything you want in the middle here. But that is how I do my Twisted Boutiques with a tail. It is so easy this way. Um, if you're going to use a wider width of ribbon, of course, use a longer length. This is the length that I prefer. I like the way they come out with this length. My loops are even and symmetrical and it looks just right and it has the hanging tail. Just like this. And with these you can, um, if you do like a solid and you have a way of using heat transfer vinyl or something, you can put a monogram on there or initial. Super cute. Let me show you one that I've done. Got a little smushed on me. This one got a little smushed, but as you can see, there's the tail with the letter on it. They're super cute. Um, but yeah, there you have it. So don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And like always, the measurements will be in the link in the description below. And I will also put a link to my Facebook page down there. That's where I share all of my videos. You can ask me questions. You can request a bow. Share a picture of something you're not quite sure how to make it or what it's called. We are more than happy to answer questions. There's also a group under the same name. It's called Crafting with Janine. But the page is where I share all these videos. And you can share your videos with in other groups that you're in, with friends, or anything. But yes, please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe and happy crafting.